going to have to ask you one question. Um, which rugby team plays in Durban? Oh, come on. <laughs> that team, man. <laughs> <laughs> that team. That yeah. team. But, but I, I, don't, I don't, you know, I still want to know what's the problem or what is wrong with Sarks. I mean, like I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out, perhaps you can assist. I mean, so, 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 you know, Nick Mallard was one day, so he explained to me, no, Ashwin, it's sharks. Like, okay, sharks, sharks. So, he's, he's, can you say sharks? Sharks, but you know what? Okay. One of the things I love about this country is that we've got so many accents. Um, we even I, have a Dan Nicol accent. Yeah, look at him. He hardly speaks yeah. like the rest of us. <laughs> I speak Afrikaans. Now, if you go to, to, to my Afrikaans, then you're like, there's so many different dialects of, of Afrikaans oh. that in the end, if I'm on CakeNet and I do, do Afrikaans, then sometimes, you know, I'd find that, you know, I go home and they say, but what does that word mean again? Right. You know, so, so there's all these different um, things. And I think the beautiful thing about it is that in South Africa, at least we can laugh about it, you know. Um, <laughs> And, and even the, I think that's where the challenge comes in, is if I start to think that my pronunciation of sarks is a reflection of who I am, or there's a, a connotation that sometimes goes with it. And so it doesn't mean that it's a sign of your intellect if you pronounce an English word not the way within which the queen pronounces it. So I think we have to, to understand and make a distinct difference between intelligence and the pronunciation of words.